Hey y'all, what's poppin'? What's good? It's your girl Simone, aka the Black Queen, and I'm back with another YouTube video. And um, <clears throat> so if you're new to my channel, it says what's poppin'? And if you a returning subscriber, says what's good? Okay. So before we get into today's video, I just want to wish everybody a happy Black History Month. Like this is the best month of the entire year, just because like every every time the year comes around we're learning about more and more black icons and back and black figures that have made an impact on society it's just a, a wonderful and amazing feeling to to know what our ancestors or my ancestors have done for society so and that's on period okay so thank you black history month um this however this month has been crazy um rosa park's birthday was a couple of days ago and Nicki Minaj dropped a video called, or a little snippet of a song called, yikes. Um, and it got a lot of backlash. I wanna actually read to y'all the song. I'm not gonna play it because I don't want this video to be too long. But she says in the song, all oh, you bitches Rosa Parks, uh-oh, get your ass up, right? And when people was hearing this, like when I mean to tell you, people went crazy. Like people was like in a bag and in their feelings, like, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> like let's and like honestly i because i am a Nicki minaj fan like i am what i mean to tell y'all i'm obsessed with her it's unhealthy like i'm really thinking about going to get counseling because it's crazy like even when she was at the meta gala and she wore that pink ugly ass dress i literally went to sleep because i was done i was so mad like i know it's unhealthy but i'm i'm just obsessed with her like i'm from queens queens gets the money south side jamaica queens period come on Jamaica app, like, come on, don't let me, let's not deter from this, <laughs> from the topic of discussion, right? So, obviously, like, if, if y'all don't know Nicki Minaj, or if you don't, first of all, if you don't like Nicki Minaj, I think you should just probably exit out this video. Just exit out this video. Um, yeah, just exit out this video if you don't like her. But Nicki Minaj is like more about woman empowerment. I know it's kind of hard to see that with a lot of the drama that's been going on in the industry and her name and stuff like that, but people want to make her look like the bad guy because a lot of things that she said in the industry came out right and honestly like the truth always will come out so regardless if she's lying or whatever god forbid or if they lying it's gonna come out right so when it came to this line all oh, you bitches rose apart uh oh get your ass up you really i don't think well i know she did not want to like disrespect rosa parks like she's she would never she like she would never why would she want to disrespect an icon of black history that that impacted her life and other black people her mother's lives like come on like why would she want to do that like let's have some common sense right like seriously because i feel like <clears throat> sorry i'm just getting over a cold i feel like on social media um people tend to lose their screws like a little bit they just tend to just go crazy and just comment whatever instead of like really just taking a pause like pause on me and think about it and then like respond so it was just really disappointing disappointing to see like the backlash she was getting and it was mostly from people that did not like her like even myself like i went on a tangent like i'm cra like i told you i'm crazy over Nicki Minaj. so anytime she does something to drop something that whole day is getting dedicated to her so the backlash that i was receiving from people that i already knew that didn't like her and i'm like sis like why are you even under my stuff like you know that i'm a Nicki Minaj fan i had to tell people like please do not go back and forth with me like i'm hitting people with the okay like you're dismissed like why like for what like for what and also that rosa parks line it's something in rap and i'm not too sure what it is i think it's called like a double entendre so she's not really like she's saying it in a different type of way and I, i'm not gonna explain it too much because i can't articulate it so i'm just gonna leave it a link below so where somebody actually like went into details about what she was really trying to say and it's very very smart and creative like Nicki Minaj is kind of like the only rapper like the female rapper where you have to really sit they, like take a step back and really like replay her, her song I'm about to say replay her shit replay her song and, <laughs> and think about what she was like saying like that's smart like any rapper that you really gotta sit and think is like wow like you know how creative you gotta be to do something like that so shout out to Nikki for that for some creativity because the rap game is I don't know I don't know I don't know what's going on I don't know I'm like who raised y'all <laughs> so that's that right so the second thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, when Nikki not well Mr and Mrs Petty sorry 
uh, let me not be disrespectful. When Mr. and Mrs. Petty uh, caught Meek Mills in, um, I think they were in Chanel in West Hollywood in LA. Um, so what it was said, cause I'm, cause at the end of the day, no one really knows what happened unless you were there. So this is all just, you know, public opinion and public commentary, right? So it was said that Meek Mills went out and approached her and tried to like re reconcile, whatever, or just make peace with them. And it's just like, bro, like Meek Mills has done so much. It's like, bro, like just leave it alone. Like, I don't understand what it is with the man when it comes to that. Like, especially if you see your ex-girlfriend with her new man bro like it's not even i literally if i was being males it would have been like hey how are y'all y'all good like you know it would have been something like that it's no time for us to be reconciled whatever all this action is you know how instagram and everything like you know how publicists you know how people if you wanted to say something reach out that way but she's with her husband and that's disrespectful like and i think that's also kind of what society lacks today is respect right so that's just i wouldn't i wouldn't have done all that and on top of that like I don't know, like, I found it, like, and this is the thing with, about people from New York, like, we, ah, I just love it, like, <laughs> Mr. Petty was like, my nigga, step outside, like, and nigga, and nigga was like, nah, my nigga, am I stepping outside, why, why you don't want to step outside, let's shoot, let's shoot the fair one, right, I haven't said let's shoot the fair one in a long time, why, that's crazy, y'all don't even know, y'all don't shoot the fair one and meet males that don't want to do it, so it's like, hmm, okay but i guess like because meek mills you know just got out of prison he's doing this whole prison reform thing and i understand like he, he is an icon too right like he he has some clout, clout let's be honest and he also has some weight too so it's like he kind of want to you know i guess set the example and i'm happy they did not fight though even though it's like meek mills you kind of need your ass beat because you've been disrespecting uh the queen for a long time so it's like ah like when it comes to that remy my song you 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 uh you what you did a song with um cardi b and drake like all her enemies and Rem like you just like that's wicked in my in my opinion for real like if my ex was to sit here and and, and just pair up with my enemies i would yo i would i'm gonna just stay away from me like seriously like act like i'm dead i literally tell my exes like act like i'm dead like please don't reach out to me like i'm dead r.i.p so that's that you know people be cutting eat people ass all day so um you know kenny he be like dressing up like a mannequin like like a mannequin so they have put him in a mannequin store called jimmy jazz which is located in new york i honestly think the jimmy jazz that they put him in was the one off the collie block in jamaica avenue and if you don't know what the collie block is if you've never been to queens and uh, you've never been to queens what you talking about uh? but yeah that's the decisive point and so Meek Mills was caught liking a photo or whatever. And it's like, it's like, 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 and I can't understand, like, why Nicki Minaj, like, went off. Because it's like, my nigga, like, you sitting here constantly saying stuff about my husband, constantly saying stuff about me. Like, just leave me alone. Like, he really did start it. And it's like, I feel like, <clears throat> like, Nicki Minaj got tired of turning the other cheek. It's like, he's, like, poking at her. Like, poking at her, poking at her, poking at her. And because but not only did he like something there was an unreleased song that he had dropped well he didn't drop it but it was an unreleased song like and i heard snippets of it you can like if you google it you can pull it up um and he was sitting here talking about her husband or her her now husband and it's just disrespectful at the end of the day like you know y'all broke up you know you sat here and you you paired up with all her enemies like just move on like and she even said in a flex interview like you know like all is forgiven like you know just keep it pushing she's a whole she's somebody's whole wife like and also the same thing too like she's married she's like somebody's missus like you get what i'm trying to say so it's kind of corny on meek mills part to be sitting here talking about uh, like a man that he's never really even met like you just sitting here talking about his appearance and what he wears like at the end of the day like he's a hood nigga and hood niggas are not really even all into all that fashion shit anyway so and he's from queen so it's like come on like just shoot the fair one <laughs> nah just kidding i don't i don't promote violence right but let's get into the tweets though so if you haven't seen the tweets whatever the tweets were a little bit crazy like meek mills was coming after her brother which i felt like was so um 
disrespectful because like he really couldn't say nothing about her but you wanted to attack our family and i feel like as for exes and, and relationships and people in general when you going back and forth with a person you don't ever um attack nobody ex like no i mean no nobody's ex you don't ever attack nobody's like family and he's sitting here penalizing her for something that her brother did like that's her brother at the end of the day like and i'm not sitting here condoning like uh, child abuse because that's honestly the most repulsive and most disgusting thing that a person could ever do because you rob a child of their innocence but she's related to him and she's a, a public figure she's an icon like and for you to just bring that up is like crazy and I'm I don't think Nicki Minaj will lie on domestic violence I know some women do lie on it but I really don't think that she would lie on it like you he's you he said that he hit his mom recorded it hit his sister recorded it and hit her and recorded like come on like that's like three people that's like a little cringy no seriously that really is a little cringy so I don't know like I just I'm obviously I'm team Nicki Minaj this is a black Barbie like so obviously I'm team Nicki Minaj at the end of the day sorry y'all I had a budgie I don't know I really just feel like I was kind of getting a little like overwhelmed because I'm like, Nikki, like, stop going back and forth with a nigga. Like, stop going. He's first of all, he's also insecure. Like, and ladies, this is also the, the thing too about men. You have to be able to like decipher when a man is insecure and when a man is masculine. I feel like within the black community, we also have a very like a hard time with doing this because there's so many feminine men, right? You could tell me Mills isn't very much of a feminine man because he's really trying to hit some low shots, whatever. Any masculine man, I kid you not, they would have been like, you know what? I'm not even saying nothing. Or wouldn't even like the picture to be honest with you because that's childish, my nigga. Like, just keep on scrolling. There's mad pictures mad females with their asses out and they boobs out but you want to like that you want to like another woman's husband's picture like like a photoshop picture like that's that's kind of clown that's corny and that's clown shit to me like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry like so that's all i really gotta say about this let me know what, how y'all feel in the comments whatever honestly if you're not a Nicki minaj fan please don't even comment what you gotta comment because i really don't care like i'm so sorry like i'm just being 100 percent transparent with you so if you like this video make sure you like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video peace